Section 1 begins with a sentence subject to the Constitution and all laws and regulations. So, ang sinasabi nila kasi, maaaring nakalabag kami ng labor laws, maaaring nakalabag kami ng taxation. But you know, they have nothing to do with their franchise. No. They are in the very heart of their franchise. They probably forgot that they invoke the constitution and all prevailing laws in the execution of their franchise. Sir, uh, last question from me. Sir, can you uh, appeal the decision for the committee? No, because under our rules, I think it is section 49, the rules of the House of Representatives. If there is an unfavorable action to any bill or resolution by any committee, and in this case, the Congressional Franchise Committee, the same will be treated as having laid on the table. That means it is archived, just like that. It ties a natural death. And the action that will be taken, well, according to the rules, the members will be notified in five days from the time that a decision was taken and telling them the reasons therefore. That's the rule. Sir, what can you say to the employees, sir? Siyempre po, manong kung sila ngayon, many of them will be let go by the network, sir. Talagang maski kami, malungkot kami. Sino naman ang hindi malulungkot na wala ng trabaho yung ating mga manggagawa. Pero sa puso nila, Makikita rin nila siguro na at mauunawaan nila kung bakit ganun ang naging pasya namin. Alam mo ako, hindi ako nagpasya sa sarili ko eh. Yung, yung mga napakaraming ebidensya will be the basis on how you act on a particular issue. In my case, you know, mapansin niyo siguro na well, siguro trabaho ko talaga yun. And it, it's my training. It's all their documents. Wala akong documents. Probably they did not know that I'm going to, to read them one by one. Napakahirap, ano? Kasi hindi malinaw yung mga documents. Eh. Tons of documents. And sometimes I would sleep at 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. in the morning. Kasi kailangan kong... I, I, cannot, I cannot speak and I cannot stand there na hindi ko hinima ito. That's not me. I, I want to see all these documents. Sir, um, you may have expressed na po ng interest yung kumakunari yung Committee on Good Government na investigahan pa po yung parang mga supposed violations ng ABS-CBS. Sir, ano po yung makikita niyong magiging takot nito? S siguro, you, you notice that this is not a simple hearing unilaterally done by the Franchise Committee. Kung makikita nyo, 
it was a joint committee meeting because there were allegations and there were also resolutions that came in while we were taking or considering the franchise application. Makikita, ang, ang nakita ko rito, at ito natagpasihan na rin while we were hearing the application, there are several agencies of government that appear to be in collusion with the uh, ABS-CBN. Number one, paano naman nangyari na nakarehistro, nakapagrehistro yung Big Deeper dun sa PESA? It, it, it was very frustrating for the PESA officials nung tinatanong ko na sila. They know the parameters. Kaya naman bibigyan mo siya ng, ano eh, ng uh, tax incentives. Yung mababa. Yung first six years nga, wala siyang tax eh. Because you wanted to attract foreign investment. You want that your country benefit from this. Kasi kung marami tayong foreign investment, and also the technology that will come in, matutulungan niya ang bansa natin talaga. Not to mention the, I would say, thousands if not millions of jobs to be created. That, that is the primary consideration. Kaya bibigyan mo siya ng tax incentives. In the particular case of Big Dipper, they cannot even tell us how many, how many employment or how many uh, workers did they generate. Wala. And they, t they were selling to themselves. Sir. It was created purposely for tax avoidance. That, is, that was very, very clear. Sir, what would have saved the franchise of ABS-CBN? I mean, you were the one who unearthed many or most of the documents of the supposed alleg alleged allegations, uh, alleged uh, violations of ABS-CBN. But what, what, what could have they done, sir, to actually save their franchise and have it removed? Well, it's too late now, no? But, siguro, ano, no? But that was also a... Ako, inihintay ko lang sana na magpakababa sila, eh. You know, we have 12 hearings. Makikita mo, ang isang nag apply ng franchise. From day one, I've been telling them that this is a special privilege. Siguro dahil lumaki na sila, and for so long a time, they thought that they had a vested right on that franchise. Parang sa tingin namin, tingin ko lang, no? Parang they had that sense of entitlement. Mali yun eh. How many times did I make mention about uh, parang nanliligaw ka lang eh? Because this is a special privilege. Nobody can appropriate this right. It is owned by the state. Ang problema pag sumagot sila ganun eh. And the last it, yung panghuling, ano, yung panghuling araw, talaga nilang sinasabi. Social media, any, any vendor, kung sa kanilang mga, what do you call this, pag uh, nagpapahanil sila sa kanilang mga shows, wala po kami ganyang pagkakasala. Oh my God, sabi ko. These people are probably living in a parallel universe, sabi ko. Bakit kayo na lang hindi nakakita ng ginagawa nito? What about this that we have unearthed? Yung lamang mga empleyado nila, nakita naman ninyo. Over a hundreds of them, and the Supreme Court so many times upheld the rights. Sir, they could have, anyway, sir, they could have apologized. Nung una pa sana, tama naman yung linya ni, ano eh, ni Carlo eh. Kaya lang, nung lumilitaw, parang, parang paimbabaw lang eh. You know, the statements like, Di naman po kami perfect eh. We can reform. That was good, ha? Maganda na yung umpisa eh. E nung magtanungan na, puro takip dito, takip dito, all their accountants and their all their, their battery of lawyers, sa totoo lang eh. Nandiyan naman kayo eh. They had difficulty in answering all these questions. Medyo, medyo mahirap, but alam ko, kayo naman, nandiyan din kayo eh. The unifying... I think uh, fact that was established talagang paiwas eh paikot in so many ways eh sabi ko nga nung ano, nabagit ko rin nabuti pa yung dalawang artista kasi nasabi ko na sa akin wala naman person totoo naman yun eh 
yung misis ko, panahon pa ng forevermore, alam mo, nasabi ko na naman, talagang hindi siya makapag, makapag uh, nuod ng ganong mga, kasi ano yun eh, di ba, eh, parang romance. Ano? Gusto niya kasama ako, so, siguro it's more fulfilling na sa dami naman ng ginagawa ko rin, magpipilitan ka nga akit, di ba? Medyo matagal din naman yun. It will probably, mga, mga 30 minutes din na tayo, no? mga 25 minutes. Sabi ko sa kanya, bakit naman may dalawang air, uh, two minutes na airing, tapos puputuli ng three minutes na advertisement, kaya aabot ng isang oras at kalahati. Eh. Yung ginagawa ko talaga, forevermore, pagkatas meron pang isa, pagkatas ito, uh, ano na ito? Make it with you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sabi na nasama ko, ay talagang yun eh. Okay, so, kung meron pa po ba silang ibang uh, uh, resort para makabalik sila sa airwaves, anong pwede ba nilang gawin? They can appeal or uh, at nilang pwede mag-file ng bill for another new crime, ano, franchise? I cannot speculate. It's up to them kung anong gagawin nila, di ba? But as for them, filing another bill, There's no way, kasi wala na eh. Sa rules, sir, nagsirating yung rules kanina? Well, like the same, the same setup, the same organization, it was rejected. So, 70 against 11. So, 2020 ito na, sir, kung sakaling mag gusto nila ulit mag-apply? The same organization? No. Apa ba namin sa 2020? So, paano, paano mo approve yung the same organization? It was already rejected. Sir, sa 2022, sir, given, sir, sa 2022, given that there will be different sets of congressmen, sir, mas may chance ba si Congress, sir? Nawa ka pag-review ko. You're assuming that the franchise will be up to 2022. Okay. Paano kung meron ng binigyan ng gobyerno? Ah, okay. Kanino ba pagbibigay yun? Anong franchise pa bibigay mo sa kanya? See? This, yung franchise is a finite resource. Ni ina-allocate ng government yun. So, kung wari, Meron na yung mag, uh, magtatangka o makikiusap sa gobyerno. Pwede po ba kaming mag-apply? Sabi niya gano'n. At na, nakita naman natin na deserving na naman. Ano? At saka ngayon siguro this is an eye-opener siguro. Titingnan lahat yung... Ngayon lang naman nangyari talaga na inusisi lahat yung, ano, yung sections ng prankisa. Dati kasi hindi masyadong tinitingnan yun. I'm not sure why. But I have to thank you know, the speaker, Alan Cayetano. Kasi siya naman ang nagbigay ng directive. Uh, binakamaganda siguro, sabi niya, na, sige, busisiin na lang natin sa committee, balik ko na lang. You notice that he, he attempted to give ABS-CBN a provisional franchise. Ang nangyari lang kasi parang binas pa siya ng ABS-CBN o kaya nung mga kapanalig, na parang maging negative pa sa kanya ay sabi niya, o sige, gusto ko naman tumulong sa inyo. Ganyan pa yung sinasabi ninyo sa akin. Ibalik natin sa committee. Ganun na nangyari. Sir, so with this development, ABS-CBN will lose its frequencies? Is it like parang a natural consequence of this? Hindi sa kanyang frequency. The frequency is the government's property. Sir, wala na rin ba yung mawawal na magiging nalang pwede po yung sa Supreme Court? Wala na yun eh. Because that's put in academic. Tama naman yung Supreme Court. Walang nanalo doon, walang natalo. Supreme Court refused to decide on the marriage. Kasi, paano mo pa i-decisionan eh, di ba? Kasi, yung pag-decision ng Supreme Court dahil expired na yung franchise. The Solicitor General was questioning the franchise. Nag-expire na, sabi ng Supreme Court, hindi na namin i-dispose ito on the marriage because moot and academic. That was it. Okay. Terima kasih. 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 Terima kas